Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Weiss Brothers East Drop Deck Trailer in 1 to 50 scale. Currently, at the time that I'm filming this review, there are four different variations available of this collectible set. All of them are basically outfitted in the primary color of aluminum, but the accent colors are what differentiates the four. So the one that we're going to be taking a look at for the sake of the review is the red variation, but there's also black, silver, and blue available, depending on what you collect for your fleet. All of them retail for about the same MSRP price at $110, again, at the time of this review, but I stress firmly to you that as often happens, and what I predict will happen with this one, is usually when high-end models such as this from manufacturers that include Weiss Brothers, once they sell out, they greatly appreciate in value on the secondary market. So I would not hesitate to add one of these to your collection if you are thinking about purchasing one. Okay, so the set includes obviously the trailer, there's a headache rack that you can put on optional, and then there are also eight yellow straps with opposite end anchors, three sets of different length chains, and Again, the cool thing about this trailer is that it's advertised that it's compatible with most 150th scale trucks. I have three different 150th scale trucks that we'll test out later in the video from three different model manufacturers. So we're going to give that kingpin a run for its money and see how it fits in with three different fifth wheels. So with the introduction out of the way, let's dive straight into the packaging and then we'll unbox the model. I love this style of packaging because it's very simplistic yet very professional looking. You have a nice rendering picture, high quality picture of the real thing. Here's the East logo, East Drop Deck Trailer 150 scale die cast replica. On the side, here's the sticker, very sword like, very TWH like, that differentiates what variation is inside the box because it is kind of hard to tell. You can see the landing legs, that's one of the accent colors. Uh, that tells you which variation is in there. But this is the red version, 1702. Again, East Drop Deck Trailer, 150 scale die cast replica on the flap. The top has the East logo. And on the back, there's some information about both the East Corporation and the Weiss Brothers replica and logo. Okay, let's waste no more time and get this thing unboxed so we can take a closer look at it. Again, I believe I mentioned this, but if I didn't, currently this retails for about $110, which may seem like a, a lot for a just a trailer and nothing that comes with it. It doesn't come with a tractor or anything. But again, this is a very high-quality replica trailer. So if you are looking for a nice, very nice, high-quality replica flatbed trailer for your fleet, and again, it does come with some accessories, in my opinion, I think it is worth the asking price. So inside... The model is housed in two plastic formers, just like this. And you simply just pull the top off, and then you can lift the model out. There you go. Inside is the optional headache rack. We'll take a closer look at that before we put it on. So again, very chrome, very shiny. It has the East logo on it. You can always take like a cleaning cloth to these to wipe off your fingerprints once you get it on the model. To place it on, there's three predetermined holes at the front of the trailer. Obviously, the East logo, this side is facing out, and you just drop it in like so. So, with the trailer fully assembled, let's take a look at the accessories that are provided. Here are the uh, yellow rubber straps that I mentioned during the introduction. And if you look here on the trailer, you have different indentations on how to put them on. And again, I have a couple different loads that we'll put on this trailer again later on to show you. And then here are the different lengths of chains. These can be a bit tedious and time consuming, but if they're done right, it's very rewarding because it makes a very realistic load when you have tie downs and chains. Okay, back to the trailer. So... You may recall a number of years ago that we have seen a East flatbed trailer before done by the TWH and the Sword conglomeration back when that was really rocking and they were putting out some excellent products. That was just a standard flatbed trailer. It did have the spread axle, but it wasn't a drop deck trailer. This is, if not the same quality, maybe a little bit better. You have your rubber wheels. You have your lines back here that are rubber and flexible. You do have a little bit of working suspension, 
rubber mud flaps as well. Going down towards here, this is the kingpin that we're going to test out in a minute. And of course you have your landing legs, which are functional. So if you would like to lower those, which we're going to do in just a minute, you unscrew these and you can put the trailer just by itself and not hooked up to a truck. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew these down and show you what the trailer looks like just sitting in a yard. There are no unsightly threads to detract away from the overall profile or look of the model. As you can see, the way the mechanism is modeled, it looks very realistic and good. Okay, let's put these back up. There are sharp decals and graphics all along the trailer, from warning labels to the DOT striping to even the East logo. Everything was done with quality and class, and it doesn't appear that anything was overlooked. You can see the East logo here. Again, the DOT striping is very noticeable, but even these small graphics, once you have it in hand, just look absolutely incredible on here. There's the back. There's this side. And then once again, the front. All right, at this point, let's go ahead and test this out with three different tractors. So let's start with a first gear, Mac Granite. Again, all these tractors that you're going to see are 150 a scale. So let's drop our Mac Granite in. So, so far, with this one, the kingpin will not lock into the fifth wheel because the fifth wheel in here is kind of shallow and not big enough. Of course, you could cheat by just having it sit over. And, I mean, if you're, you know, if you're just putting it on a shelf, you can't really tell that much. Uh, but for first gear, without modifying either the kingpin or the fifth wheel on the Mac Granite, you can't really pose it with the first gear truck. Now again, maybe the fifth wheels are different on other first gear 150 scale trucks, but this is the one I pulled just to show as an example. All right, moving on. Next, this is the Diecast Masters Western Star Truck. Let's see how this one pans out. Here's the fifth wheel on this one. Again, no modifications, nothing's, no camera trickery, nothing's been done. Let's see how this works. So this one will fit in the fifth wheel, as you can see here. So if you want to pose it with a Diecast Masters 150 scale truck, it will work because the fifth wheels on the Diecast Masters truck are all the same. It doesn't matter if it's a Western Star, International, Cat, uh, whatever. The sliding fifth wheels and the fifth wheel holes are all the same on the Diecast Masters trucks, no matter the manufacturer. So it will work with that. And the last one I want to show you, in theory, this should work the best because the trailer has sword origins in it. And this is a sword Peterbilt. In theory, this should work the best. Here's the fifth wheel on this one. Again, nothing's been changed or doctored. Let's see how this works. Click. It actually clicks in. So again, it appears as though it has been engineered and designed to work best with the sword or uh, the now re-released WSI trucks. Um, obviously, it works the best, and as you can see here, I hope you can see, at the front of the trailer, if I can draw your attention to here, they have included holes to plug the auxiliary lines and stuff into, again, with the intention and the forethought that it will work with the, uh, the sword or the WSI trucks. Last thing I want to do before we wrap up this video 
we'll get it unclicked here. And again, if I didn't mention, it does actually not only seed into the fifth wheel, but it will lock into the fifth wheel, so it's not going to go anywhere. Let's see what it looks like with a couple loads on it. So we'll put a 20-foot container on it. It's a pretty convincing and interesting-looking load. But let's fully max out this trailer and probably get in trouble with DOT. But we can do whatever we want here on Diecast Emporium. So let's put a container on it and a 924G just for laughs. There you go. Now, obviously, you'd put some change on chains on this, maybe some uh, tie downs. So let's try and put a tie down on just to see how it looks. Hopefully it uh, cooperates a little bit better here. So we'll put the tie down over here. And then we'll take it over on the other side. See how, see how well this wants to cooperate. So we've got that side on. Again, this can be a little bit finicky to do, but again, once you get it on, it's very rewarding, and it looks the part and works out well. So there you go. Obviously, you'd put more than one strap on, but again, for sake of time and just to end the video, um, there you go. So that's what it could look like. So, in conclusion, overall, I'd have to say the Weiss Brothers East Drop Deck Trailer in 150 scale is a wonderful addition to your 150 scale truck uh, fleet. It's a Yes, it's a little bit expensive, but I gotta say, guys, honestly, it's worth it. There are endless display possibilities, especially if you have different diorama accessories or construction equipment or even containers that you can display on this. As I've shown you, you now know which fifth wheels will work. Even if you only have first gear trucks, I'm not saying you couldn't modify the fifth wheel or even the kingpin on the trailer to make it work, but it seems as though, in my experience, the Diecast Masters trucks or the uh, Sword trucks seem to work the best at this time with the trailer. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.